Today I am covered in paint, I'm in my painting clothes, looking chic, and we're gonna be redoing this kid bathroom. Super easy, super fast, let's get it done. Here's a little before shot. Step one, look really awesome. Extra points if you wear sunglasses inside, like a true champ. The first day we moved in here, we were like trying to get the kids all excited because you know, obviously it was a big change for them. And we come in this bathroom, we turn on the sink and a giant scorpion crawls out of it. Therefore, this bathroom needs a total facelift because our kids were so traumatized. Coming from Washington, scorpions aren't a super common thing. Now that the TSP has sat for a couple minutes, I'm gonna take a white a rag and wipe it down per the instructions on the bottle. That's why it's so important to use TSP when you prep your cabinets because look how much dirt just came off these cabinets. And I had just wiped them down previously, like cleaned them with soapy water last week maybe. All right, first coat of paint, let's go. Misty mountains, dusty road ahead crossing rivers dreaming of a bed from a window in the mighty clouds up high first coat is done Woo. and you ever wonder if days are last with one another I just finished putting a really light coat of primer on these cabinets just to help the paint adhere a little bit better if you don't have to do full coverage it'll adhere really well but it is super toxic smells absolutely terrible so that's why this is a must have product list of what I'm using look in the comments below Right now I can get this thing off me. Take a paint break, hang some shiplap, and I'll be back. All right, so it's my turn now. I'm gonna add some more shiplap to our house. This wall right here is gonna be a nice little accent shiplap wall. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about shiplapping on a budget, check out our other video. We'll post it right there on how to shiplap, what are the steps, and how to do it cheaply and efficiently. Let's get started. drywall oh not drywall shiplap and I forgot that I had to fill the holes so I will not be painting that right now I will paint the cabinets instead Last part of the bathroom renovation is the countertops and we have new counters being installed tomorrow so that means that I need to unhook the plumbing and get these old countertops out of here and get ready for the new ones. So hopefully I can do this without breaking anything. My track record is not perfect. Plumbing is unhooked. Okay, as you guys saw, Ben just ripped out the countertops. The new counters are coming in tomorrow, so I'm gonna finish, finish putting a coat on paint on these black cabinets and then it'll be done. Paint the wall pink and we are good to go. So, time to get to work. I don't think that I'm being that selfish right now 
now. You said yourself you didn't give you pain to myself. I can understand you're tired of the Okay guys, the granite is going in right now. It looks so good. It's gonna look so good when it's done. But they're in the middle of it, so we're gonna stay out of their way. But like it looks really good. I'm really excited. We're putting the sink in. The faucet is going and I'm so excited. It looks so good. So Ben is gonna finish up this. I'm gonna paint my shiplap wall, touch up the drywall around where they put in the new granite. Then we're done. And then we get to decorate. And then I'll show you the finished product and I'm so excited. Hooray. And then we have a working bathroom again and the kids can go shower in here. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, we are back in the bathroom. I am just sanding down some of the caulking that the cabinet people or the countertop people didn't really do correctly, so I'm gonna redo that. Putting the finishing touches on the cabinets, just caulked around the mirror right here, put the new light fixture in, la -da -da. and I'm about to paint the pink wall as well. And then we're gonna be done. It's all those last minute finishing touches that are the most painful to accomplish. And then we gotta decorate, so stay tuned. We're almost there. Final stretch, guys. Final stretch. This town, and I'm not saying that we have to settle down now. Just remember this. We could have been stardust. Same world, but without us. Something made us, made us find each other right out there. Made us realize we're more than just stars. I'm trying to get all the decor out of the tub and up on the walls and then I'll do some final caulking. I need to caulk right here just to clean it up and right here along the granite to clean it up. We're gonna have to get the decor up and then I'm gonna show you the final reveal. Be excited, I'm excited. Are you excited? Woo! No more bathroom renovation for like a week. Forever. And then we have to start the next bathroom. <laughs> Funny story, if you haven't already uh, seen the TikTok that we made a few weeks ago uh, where I was impersonating Becca, and in it I was talking about how much she hates our vacuum. Uh, here's a little clip of it. Ugh, I hate this vacuum. How many times have I told you to replace this vacuum? I hate it. <laughs> hey, can you scratch my back? <laughs> So true. <laughs> uh, it was kind of funny timing, but right after that, Hoover sent us this vacuum and we've been able to uh, use it for a few weeks now and we've really enjoyed it. And there's actually something to be said for simplicity in a vacuum. I feel like there's so many vacuums out there that have like a million different pieces and they have, uh, you know, all these different things going on. This is actually a very simple, easy to use vacuum. It just has an on and off switch here and a zipper on the front to take the bag out. Uh, but this one is a lot easier to carry around because it's just one piece, has this handle on it that's easy just to grab like that. Um, it's battery powered and it comes with two batteries so you can always have one charging ready to go so you're not gonna like run out of batteries halfway through when you're trying to get some things done because I'm really bad at charging batteries when I'm not using things so it's nice to have an extra one, it always is. Uh, it's a bag setup, so it's HEPA filtered. It's gonna run everything through the filter and actually clean the air uh, while it's vacuuming. And it is available on Amazon. So we'll put a link down in the description down below if you guys wanna check it out. Uh, we have really enjoyed it. Pretty awesome. Thank you again to Hoover for sending this over to us for us to try out. We're really enjoying it. So without further ado, now it is time to get on to... Da -da 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 -da. Lost again, going back around Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they enlighten my near and far? Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are? All right, so I'm gonna pull you through with me. So we kept the original cabinets in here that were already here. 
uh, it's a little easier to see from there. So uh, they were that color. So Becca spent a lot of time painting these cabinets, but I think they turned out great. We at first were talking about replacing these, but that was gonna make it really costly and we just wanted to do a really cheap facelift with this place. So uh, painted them and they actually turned out fantastic. Uh, we got these countertops. These are, these are granite countertops we got as a remnant from a local supplier. And so it was super cheap and they were able to come in and do both sides at the same time. Um, the sinks came, the sinks themselves came with the countertops, and then we got the faucets on Amazon. The, we replaced the lighting here. We got those, I think at, I think we got those at Lowe's or Home Depot, uh, but we'll put links to everything that we got um, in, our, in our Amazon cart, and uh, you know, we got some nice new little decorations here. We did vertical shiplap instead of horizontal for these bathrooms. Wanted to do something a little bit different, but the boys' side is uh, this dark green color. And then the middle here, you can see we, we didn't do much in here. We literally just painted the walls and then added these little shelves and then, we, and then put on a new toilet paper holder here. So uh, Becca also spent quite a bit of time kind of giving a facelift to the uh, to the tile that's in here. We didn't change any of the tile, but she went through and, and kind of repainted and re-scrubbed um, all the grout to make it look new again, so that turned out really nice. And then we have the autumn side over here. So uh, again, we did the vertical shiplap and painted it pink for autumn. She really likes it. Um, we did kind of these matching hooks on both sides. And then same kind of thing on the cabinets, painted them the same color. And we have this granite remnant here same kind of sink faucet and um, fixtures. So we kind of matched the bathrooms up, really just did the paint color as the only difference between the two. But I think it turned out really nice. Um, it, was a, it was a really cheap and easy way to revamp the bathroom. Really the only thing that we needed professional help on uh, were the countertops. Other than that, Becca and I could do everything else ourselves. So we saved a lot of money doing it that way. And we'll, again, we'll put links down below on everything that we did. So hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us for this little bathroom renovation journey. Uh, Becca is not involved at this portion because she's resting. Uh, COVID has hit her pretty hard, so she's just taking a breather uh, for this last week and just hanging out in bed and trying to get better. Um, comment below if there's any other renovations or any other questions that you guys have uh, about what we did in here. And we've got quite a few other things to do yet on the house, so more to come. Anyways, thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys next week. And remember, you're never going to look back on your life and wish you renovated less bathrooms. No, that can't be right. You're never going to look back on your life and wish you had less adventure. I guess you could call this bathroom renovation the next adventure that we just were on. So on to the next. Let's go.